Hi, everybody. It's Mark Reshen of markreshen.com. It is Wednesday, November 10th, 2021. And a little bit of the change in the set design here. I knew 10 days ago or whatever, when I made my last video, that uh, I had planned to make a whole bunch of like short videos. And well, I kind of got busy with other things. So I wanted to talk about how I got a track placed in a Spotify curated playlist. Finally. Yes, it's my first one. I, you know, any independent recording artist can pitch uh, the the curators of, of uh, Spotify curated playlists through the service called Spotify for Artists. They've had it around for, I don't know, three years or something like that. I have probably done over 100 pitches in the last three years because I release music and sounds often, and I release under a lot of different pseudonyms. So constantly pitching, playing the numbers game, trying to get better with my pitches, and uh, hopefully something would get picked up and placed into one of those uh, really pop, you know, I don't expect to get in rap caviar or anything like that, but I got into a good one. Um, the pitch, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you the track. I'm not going to play you the track. It doesn't, that doesn't really matter. The pitch was uh, on one of my, uh, a, a track that I released under one of my pseudonym artists. Uh, I pitched it in late June or early July and uh, it didn't get added to the playlist until October 20th. And as of today, November 10th, it's it's still out there. It's still cranking out listens every single day, which is great. Uh, the playlist uh, has about 76 tracks. Mine, I think, is in 12th place. Most people listen to those types of playlists based on how they are ordered. Of course, there are other people that can go and set their system to, to play randomly as well. But uh, 12th is pretty good. Uh, the playlist has over 300,000 likes, followers, subscribers. I don't know what you call it. They call it likes now. They used to call it followers. So uh, again, but my daily streaming, it's a fraction of that 300,000 number. And uh, per absolutely happy. I, don't, I have no idea how long it's going to go on. I'm completely grateful for it. If I'd gotten into a playlist that had you know, 3,000 followers, that, it would have been equally as thrilling for me. Equally. Um, it's just f great to get one in there. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep pitching Spotify for artists on other tracks that I have planned released, planned to release here in the future. In addition, in the past month or so, Amazon Music for Artists has finally popped up on the radar. I'd signed up for them about a, a year and a half ago, March 2020, and we all know what's been going on since then. And so they just started uh, opening up the ability to pitch playlist curators at Amazon. And so that's why I always, when, when I, when I uh, write a pitch to Spotify, I always save the text because I want to make sure that I'm covering all my bases in there. Who, what, where, why, and how are you going to promote it? And of course, you have to do that succinctly within 500 characters. I think Amazon gives you a thousand, if I'm not mistaken. But if I've written that out for, for Spotify, then if I'm going to be pitching somebody to Amazon, you just kind of copy it and tweak it a little bit there and, you know, hope, hope you uh, get into something eventually. I don't know. I don't think Amazon has that many active listeners, paying subscribers, but, you know, I'll... Perfect. I, I'm happy, thrilled. Yeah, maybe I'll get one in there eventually. That it'd be great. So, anyway, I just wanted to talk about my experience of getting a track finally placed in a Spotify curated playlist. Didn't think it was going to happen, but it did. You know, like I said, over over 100 pitches, and uh, got one in. And uh, you know, it's a big. As far as I'm concerned, a playlist that big. That's you know, it's almost like you know, winning home run in the bottom of the ninth, right? So. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Mark Rushton of markrushton.com, and uh, talk to you later.